Year 6 Maths, Word Problems, Video 3. So, as of the last couple of lessons, I'm going to show you a word problem. I will read it, and then you will pause the video and try and work out which operation, how many steps you need to do, and then we'll go through it together. There are five balloons in a packet. There are 18 packets in a box. How many balloons are there all together in a box? Think about which operation you need to do, how many steps. Press pause while you work it out. Welcome back. So, a packet has five balloons and there are 18 packets. So, basically, we need to do 18 times five. And that will tell us how many balloons there are, because if there are 18 packets and each one has five, it's 18 times five. So I'm going to do the column method. Five times eight is 40. Zero here, four here. Five times one is five plus four is nine. So the answer to that question, there are 90 balloons in that big box. There are five balloons in a packet. Kofi needs 65 balloons. How many packets does he need? Press pause while you work that out. Welcome back. So we need to find out how many times, how many lots of five, how many times does five fit into 65? So this is actually a division. I'm going to do 65 divided by 5, and that will tell me how many times 5 is in 65. So 5 goes into 6 once with a remainder of 1, and 5 goes into 15 three times. So Kofi needs 13 packets, because if you do 13 times 5, you get 65. A pack of paper has 150 sheets. Four children each take seven sheets. How many sheets of paper are left, that's key, in the packet? Press pause while you work that out. Okay, so there are 150 sheets of paper in this packet. Now, four children each take seven sheets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do four times seven. That's 28. So that means that 28 sheets are taken from 150. So how many are left? So when you hear are left, that's usually a subtraction. So we're going to do 150 subtract 28. So zero subtract here, I can't do it. So that's four. 10 subtract eight is two. Four subtract two is two. And then one. So that's 122. So just look at it again. We did four times seven. That's 28. That's how many were taken. And we subtracted it from the packet 150. Plants are sold in trays of 20. Look at the tray here. There are 20 plants. Ivana buys seven trays of plants. How many plants is this? So she buys seven of those trays of 20. How many plants does she buy? Press pause while you work it out. Okay, so what you need to do, you need to do 20 times seven. So you could do the column method. Seven times zero is zero, and seven times two is 14. So it's 140. However, a lot, a lot of people will have just realised, well, 20 times 7, 2 times 7 is 14, times it by 10 is 140. Let's take a look at the bottom word problem. David wants 240 plants. How many trays does he need to buy? So he wants 240, there are 20 in a tray. So how many... Does he need to buy? Press pause while you work that out. 
Welcome back. Now, the slow way, you could count in 20s. And if you count in 20s, when you stop, that's how many trays he needs. But in reality, this is a division problem. Because what we need to do is we need to work out how many times does 20 go into 240. So 20 goes into 2, 0, carry the 2. 20 goes into 24 once with 4 left over. And 20 goes into 42. So he needs 12 trays because 12 times 20 is 240. A shop sells postcards in packs of six and packs of eight. So here's a pack of six and here's a pack of, sorry, a pack of eight. Here's a pack of six. Alan bought four packs of eight cards. How many cards did he get? Press pause while you work that out. Okay, welcome back. Four times eight equals 32. So Alan... He needed to bat. He bought 32 cards because he bought four packs of eight. Shireen bought some packs of six cards. Altogether, she has 30. Let's just go back. So Shireen, let's change colour. Shireen bought these ones, a pack of six. And she got 30 cards. So how many packs did she buy? Press pause while you work that out. Okay. So it's basically, we want to find out how many times does 6 go into 30. And six, so 6 goes into 3, 0 times, it goes in 5 times. Because 5 times 6, or 6 times 5, is 30. So if he buys 6 packs and each one has got... um, Sorry, he buys 30 cards. Well, if we work out, if we count in 6s... 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, that's 5. So he buys 5 of those packs. That's all we have for this lesson. If there's anything you're unsure of, go back and check and then let me know. And I will see you in our next maths lesson.